I'm not gonna lie, I think I might have an addiction, bro. This is my eighth build in NBA 2K22. But when you see the build, you're gonna understand why. We are creating a playmaking paint beast in today's video. I've been working on this build. The gameplay is not ready yet. The badges aren't quite there. But I wanted to get this build video out of the way so y'all can start grinding with me. If y'all like this build, this build's probably one of the best builds. Probably the most competitively viable rare builds I've ever made in this game. And the build name is so fire, bro. Playmaking paint beast. I didn't even know this was in current gen. I've been working on it for a couple days now just trying to craft and perfect this build as you can see we're only in 82 overall but i'm gonna max some of the things out just to show y'all what we could do at 99 all right so we can only go to an 85 overall but look bro we get a 99 driving dunk we'll have a 75 ball handle to unlock most of the dribble moves we have really really solid defense the perimeter defense and lateral quickness isn't too crazy we can still shoot a little bit this build is really just a really well balanced demigod build the badge count nothing too crazy 13 now 14 and 19 now i'm not even good over my badges because i'm still grinding this build out i wanted to get a gameplay today but hey bro sometimes you just gotta gotta be patient and grind out the build because getting gameplay on this build with these amount of badges might be tough there's actually two ways to make this build now the first way i'm going to show you guys the way i made mine and the second way is a little bit more big man oriented it's less playmaking badges more like inside badges um, less perimeter defense more like block and offensive rebound and all that type of stuff um so the first version i'm gonna show you guys the way i made it second version i'm gonna show you guys like the more comp big man way but this build is a plan making paint beast so we're gonna go power forward position hand in this doesn't matter jersey number 97 why not for the pie chart we actually have to use one of these new pie charts i was kind of hoping to use this one right here because i wanted hall of fame finishing and hall of fame defense but we have to go with this one right here Where's it at? Where's it at? This one right here. More finishing and a little bit of red. You can go with this pie chart right here, but it's not as good for the ball control um, because you want to have that 75 ball control at 99, regardless if you're going on the inside version or the more balanced version. You want to have that, you know? Like, it just makes sense to have that 75. You don't want to miss out on one rating and sacrifice your wingspan, you know? Now, for the physicals, I honestly would go with the all-speed one, especially with this version. Maybe the second version, you could go something else, but all-speed just fits this build the best, in my opinion. Now, like I said, this build is going to be less big man oriented and a little bit more well balanced. We're going to skip over our close shot, go straight to our driving lamp, get this to a 67, max our driving dunk so we can get that 95 driving dunk and then a 99 at 99, which is wild. For our standing note, we're going to get this to an 81. The reason i do this it ends up at an 85 and that's like the last highest uh dunk package you can allot for standing dunks there's no reason to go higher really and i think like that yeah you need like an 85 to get like the under basket whatever dunk package so i want to that for our shooting we're gonna max out everything and then once we're done we're gonna go back to our midi and we're gonna take one off right here so we still get nine shooting badges and that one attribute is gonna come in clutch somewhere else now we are a plan making paint beast and we want to have as much plan making as possible so we're gonna max everything out giving us 14 plan making badges which is actually a lot for a pie chart like this i didn't really expect this many but i'm definitely not complaining Planning, bro now for the defense we're gonna max out our interior we're gonna get our perimeter defense to a 56 which will go up because we're gonna drop the height lateral quickness to a 56 as well now one bad thing about this build we do have to skip over the steel rating steals are overpowered but you're still gonna get steals on this game i have plenty of builds without steel rating and i still get hella steals hella plucks hella interceptions because we're gonna have max wingspan anyways for the block we're gonna get this to a 77 right here we're gonna max out our defensive rebound and put the rest on our offensive rebound getting this to an 80 now the total badge count is 13 9 14 and 19 really solid you can do a little bit of everything on this build i actually just realized one thing you want to take one off the driving light put this on the standing nut boom you still get the same badges but you just need it for the 85 standing nook um so yeah just don't worry about that now for the body shape one thing i did notice which is kind of cool the defined body shape gives you longer arms than built or burly um and i think defined is the longest wingspan from the body shape so i'm like you know what why not get a little tiny bit of a longer wingspan we're still gonna look big we're gonna max out the weight all that stuff for the height we want to drop this all the way down to 2.01 it's equivalent to six foot seven i just make all my builds in the metric system i'm sure you can still get the same build name um, because we're not going like in between any heights or anything but i just like the metric system better now for the weight like i said we are gonna max this out our speed does take a hit but look at our strength look at our interior defense we have to go pretty high or we don't get the build name i think we get like a skilled interior finisher or a skilled glass cleaner one of those two if we don't max out the weight which is kind of a cool name but the plan making pay beast is like a whole nother level of names bro now for the wingspan we are going to max this out we still get a 71 ball handle so at 99 we get a 75 we'll get a 99 driving dunk at 99 we have an 85 standing dunk so off the road we get all the good standing dunk packages decent block decent rebounding our perimeter defense and lateral quickness is up um, just because we dropped the height so at 99 we'll have those both at a 70 which is definitely passable on this build 
for the takeovers we do get access to playmaking takeover and i recommend play take on this version of the belt but the other version hey you can do with whatever um, but i just want to go play take just to get glitchy get some ankle breakers you know um so let's let's complete this build real quick and as you guys can see we have built a playmaking paint beast one of the most glitchy build names in the game it definitely does remind me of zion but let's get on to the second version of the build so i can show you guys how to make like the more uh big man oriented build it's less well balanced but it's more of a true big man i'm gonna just go over this stuff quick it's the same build um same position same pie chart all that good stuff now for the physicals you probably could choose another one but we're gonna max out the weight regardless and that gets our strength up a lot anyways but if you want maybe you can go like speed invert um, but I don't think it's really worth this, so I'm going to go with the all-speed. Now, this build gets more finishing and a little bit more defense, but we sacrifice a ton of playmaking badges. We still get the 75 ball handle, but we don't get, like, access to as many badges as we did before. But like I said, it's a more offensive-oriented build. We don't have, like, perimeter and lateral quickness, but we are going to be able to bang down low with the big boys, pause... Um, so I'm going to just go over the stats real quick. Now for the close shot, we're going to get this to a 67. We're going to max our driving layup, our driving dunk, and our standing dunk. Boom, 22 finishing badges, which is actually a lot more than our other build. I think we had 13 in the other one. So this is definitely really, really solid. Max out all of our shooting. We're going to do the same thing as we did last time. We're going to take one off our midi because we still get nine shooting badges. Now for the plan making, we do take an eight badge hit. Um, we still did get a solid amount. Um, six is not bad at all, but... I mean, 14 definitely helps, especially because you are a playmaking paint beast. You want to have like maybe bullet pass or unpluckable, all that on gold. Um, you still can't get those two, but you still want that quick first step. But it's okay if you, like this is the more big man oriented, like I've said for the 30th time. Now for the defense, like I said, no perimeter, no ladder. We're gonna max out basically everything here. We're gonna skip over a block and then max this out. We don't get max, but bro, it, it really doesn't matter. Actually, I think I went with this way to be honest. So 22, 9, 6, 21, definitely really solid, more of a big man build. Body shape, I would still go with the fine, but if you want to look maybe big, burly gang, you could do this. But like I said, the wingspan low, it kind of helps a little bit. Height, same height. You want to do the same thing right here. Max out the weight, and we're going to max out the wingspan as well. Now, this build, better layup, same ball control, less playmaking badges, no like perimeter defense switching ability. Um, but if you're going to be running the two and you're not planning on switching on swings or anything, we get a 99 driving duck and standing duck at 6'7", bro. That's wild. Well, at 99, obviously, I assume you guys know that's what I'm talking about. Takeovers, we get access to the same one. But if you're going to make this build, I probably wouldn't go with play take. Maybe you can, but I kind of would go like more of a big man oriented takeover. I'd probably go glass cleaning takeover. As you guys can see, we still get the same build name, the playmaking paint beast with shades of John Collins, Larry Johnson, and Pascal Siakam. Now, in my personal opinion, I think the first build is better um for my play style but y'all probably would like the second build better but that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video i cannot wait to show you guys what this build turns out like when i start using it get some more badges and stuff expect some gameplay on this build soon i am grinding out the badges as we speak and i'm also grinding this two times three times rep event right now um i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all comment john collins if you made it to the end of the video um so i know you're a real one so i know you rock with the channel like that i'll see you guys tomorrow with my next upload have a good one peace